Yo, what is going on gamers? We are here with the Baltimore Crabs, episode 6 of this My GM series. We are 26 and 15, and I'm deciding, let's simulate the rest of the season. I don't feel like playing any other games. I feel like we should get right into the playoffs. And should I do a challenge for the playoffs? Should I only play one game per series? And you know what I mean? Like, I'll be able to play only four quarters. So what do you guys think of that? Should I only be able to play one game per series? Tell me down below in the comment section. Uh, right now we're 30 and 19. I feel confident in our team. And they try Boris Diaw for Darren Collision. That's a stupid trade in my opinion. Now Jordan Clarkson. This was a trade that I actually liked. But then I stopped. I was like, I had Jordan Clarkson in my New York Knicks, my GM. Why would I want to get him in my... Baltimore Crabs. I just don't want to have the same player in the same series all the time. I just, you know what I mean? I just don't want that. I don't want that to happen. Not to happen, but to ha <laughs> not to happen, but you know, you're not like, I just don't want like to have the same players on the same series, like the same players in different series. Cause that's just kind of boring. Cause I know how they play. I know if they're good enough. I know everything. I'm not giving up Seth Curry because I really like Seth Curry. I feel like he could develop into a potentially a good player. I'm going to go to the trade deadline, see if I can trade for someone. I kind of want Norel, um, Nerlens, Noel. Uh, so we're going to go over to the 76ers. Doo, doo, doo. Okay, over here, Nerlens, Noel, moving down to the power forward position. Put Bogey back at the center position would be ideal for me. Actually, Noel could play the center position, but he's kind of underweight. So what we could do is just work on his weight on the off season or just work on his perimeter shooting. So, you know what I mean? Joel and B went from last year being an A minus potential down to a B minus. Watch him come back next year and just honestly just be freaking amazing. That's what I want. I really hope he does that because I I think he's a phenomenal player. He should he's he's a good player. He'll be a good player. He's just being injured. No, he's not being he's just Right now, struggling with this foot injury, it's just a lot more severe than thought than we all anticipated. Was he overdrafted? Maybe because of his injury, but I feel like Noel played well when he came back. I feel like Embiid's gonna be like that. If Jaleel Okafor plays well, it like phenomenally well and wins Rookie of the Year, I feel like then. Embiid will be traded in the draft or in the offseason. I don't think they'll keep him if they have Noel at the power forward and Jaleel at the center. I just don't see them keeping Embiid and having a third center. He'll get, he because he won't get minutes, he won't be able to play. And I try to get rid of Tiago because he he's on that two-year deal. Really don't want him on this team personally. Just saying, I, I just don't think he is a like phenomenal. I think he's good. He's good right now. But Willie Conestein is going to replace him next year. He'll, he'll be a serviceable backup. I'm going to put the no normalized play to sim minutes. I don't know. Can someone tell me down below what the normalized play to sim stats is? What's the difference? Please tell me down below because I'm really interested in knowing what's the difference between so we're going to simulate through the rest of the season we're 32 and 21 right now hopefully we can win over 50 games that's actually the goal we win two in a row three in a row that's actually impressive four in a row dang imagine if we can get this win shook to 10 six seven in a row eight in a row come on nine ah two away from you know succeeding into not succeeding but having an impressive streak and we go on a win streak again we're on six right now let's see if we can break the seven uh we always get the seven we lose again that's kind of sucks but can, i think we'll be able to win uh 50 games is yeah 51 we won over 50 games like i wanted that's good that's actually really good i'm really happy that we achieved that achieved that and with down to season let's see if we can win our final two games and we did and now we get to the final like season awards of course russell always wins the russell always wins the rookie of the year for some reason let's see oh demarcus cousins boogie made the second nba team which is good let's see his stats 30 minutes a game which is the lowest he's had since his third season and he had his one the lowest yeah he had like a low on minutes and low on points of course Julio okafor makes the first team uh, first team you know rookie Stanley Johnson. Uh, here we go. We're going against the LA Clippers. And hopefully. Alright, so you guys, like, hopefully we can beat them. But 
Do you guys want me to play every game? Do you guys want me to only play one game? What what should should they read a challenge or anything? Tell me that down below. Let's look at the rookies for next year. Hopefully Kobe Bryant doesn't retire. I kind of want to bring him to Baltimore or if Kevin Durant doesn't retire, you know. OBV be cool to bring Kevin Durant in to this team, you know. I feel like he could be a really good player for us. Really good, like phenomenal player for us. And he's actually kind of hurt right now, but right, he's an 83. He'll probably go down to a 79 like he is right now. He could be a great guy off the bench for us. We're going to draft a small forward probably. But that's about it for this episode, guys. I hope you guys did enjoy the episode. If you did, leave a like down below. Answer my comments. I'm not answer my question in the comment section down below. Uh, if you're new, subscribe. Let's see if we can get a thousand soon. That's my goal. That's it for this episode, guys. I hope you guys have a great day because I know I will. Till next time, guys. Peace out.